agriculture, the procurement of wheat in Rabi 21-22, and the estimated procurement of paddy in Kharif 21-22 will cover 1,208 lakh metric tons of wheat and paddy from 163 lakh farmers and 2.37 lakh crores will be directly payment will be the direct payment of msp value to their accounts chemical free natural farming will be promoted throughout the country with a focus on farmers lands in 5 kilometer wide corridors along the river ganga at the first stage 2023 has been announced as the International Year of Millets. Support will be provided for post-harvest value addition, enhancing domestic consumption, and for branding millet products nationally and internationally. To reduce our dependence on import of oil seeds, a rationalized and comprehensive scheme to increase domestic production of oil seeds will be implemented. For delivery of digital and high-tech services to farmers with involvement of public sector research and extension institutions, along with private agri-tech players and stakeholders of agri-value chains, a scheme in PPP mode will be launched. Use of Kisan drones will be promoted for crop assessment, digitization of land records, spraying of insecticides and nutrients. States will be encouraged to revise syllabi of agricultural universities to meet the needs of natural, zero budget, and organic farming, modern day agriculture, value addition, and management. A fund with blended capital raised under the co-investment model will be facilitated through the NABARD. This is to finance startups for agriculture and rural enterprise relevant for farm produce value chain. The activities of these startups will include inter alia, support for FPOs, machinery for farmers on rental basis at farm level, and technology including IT-based support. The implementation of the Kane betwa link project at an estimated cost of 44,605 crores will be taken up. This is aimed at providing irrigation benefits to 9.0 lakh hectare of farmers' lands, drinking water supply to 62 lakh people, 103 megawatt of hydro, 27 megawatt of solar power, allocations of 4,300 uh, 4, crores of rupees in the RE 21-22 and 1,400 crores of rupees in 22-23 have been made for this project. Honorable Speaker, sir, draft DPRs for five river links, namely Damanganga Pinjal, Partapi Narmada, Godavari Krishna, Krishna Pennar, and Pennar Kaveri have been finalized. Once a consensus is reached among the beneficiary states, the center will provide support for their implementation. For farmers to adopt suitable varieties of fruits and vegetables, and to use appropriate production and harvesting techniques, our government will provide a comprehensive package with participation of state governments. MSMEs, Udyam Ishram, NCS, and Asim portals will be interlinked. Their scope will be widened. They will now perform as portals with live organic databases, providing G2C, B2C, and B2B services. 
These services will relate to credit facilitation, skilling, and recruitment with an aim to further formalize the economy and enhance entrepreneurial opportunities for all.